So the Dunstall Park handicap is next end. This is one mile and three furlongs, 0 to 70. So you're probably going to get a big field for this. And um, Spring Loaded and Triangle Rock for David Robertson are at the top. Scepter for Darren Howes is number three. Lowell Art for Doug Warren, four. Hollywood Rolling, Derek Hinton, five. Girl V for Doug Warren, six. Electric Sheep, Kevin Meanhan, seven. Nat Neo Girl and Anais is eight. Richard X Much for James Follis is nine. Number ten is Black and Moya. And eleven is Emma Nye Street there. Both Alex Cherry, Midnight Trains, Pontypool Racing, Mill Viking, Darren Howes. Ananias has got Miss Dior, Much Mansell for James Follis, Red Dickens for Dan Hughes, Temperamental Lady for Graham Clutterbuck, the Chingford Scouts and Martin Lidham, and War Heroin for Kevin Minahan. That's the full field then. And away they go on the dirt at Dunstall Park at Wolverhampton. And Black and Moya was the one that was slow to go. Mill Viking the Grey, who I think maybe one of those ones that doesn't race very often, or doesn't go to the stores very often, got out today and is going okay. But it's Miss Dior. Or Ananias, I think that is, who's in the lead. Then Much Mansell is second. A big gap then back to Nat Geo Girl in third. The rest of them are pretty tightly bunched. There's Black and Moya just got a little bit wide on the track. Looking towards the back, Temperamental Lady and Midnight Train, the two Graham Clutterbuck horses, are the back markers at this stage. So past the winning post then with a circuit to go. And now they've just about got a mile to race with Miss Dior in the lead for Much Mansell second. Then Nat Geo Girl and Black and Moya and Larwood Art is there as well. Then New Next Much and also M and I Street Triangle Rock is behind them. Then Hollywood Rolling. And gap then to Spring Loaded, Girl V and Electric Sheep, Scepter and War Heroin are there. The Chingford Scouts is trying to make a move round the outside. Then comes Red Dickens and still the back two and the Clutterbuck Bear, Temperamental Lady and Midnight Train. But it's Miss Dior who's in the lead then from Much Mansell, you next much, the two stable companions, second and third, then the Grey Mill Viking is in fourth, then come the Alex Cherry Pair, Emma Nice Street and Black and Moya, then Hollywood Rolling, Lowell Art, Nat Geo Girl, Triangle Rock, Girl V and Spring Loaded trying to get into it as well, but they're coming down there, racing towards the final four furlongs in this race, and Miss Dior is the leader from Mill Viking, the Grey in second, then Much Mansell, Lowell Art, Hole Rolling is next, then you next much, Emma Nice Street's now making a forward move, Black and Moya's trying to get into it, looking towards the back, the clutter book pair is still the back two but it's Miss Dior in the lead Miss Dior from you next much then comes Emma and I Street Mill Viking is still there Hollywood rolling is rolling around the outside coming widest of all is the Chingford Scouser but it's Miss Dior in the lead Miss Dior in front from you next much Hollywood rolling Emma and I Street Lowell Art then comes Much Mansell Nat Geo Girls trying to get into it the wide ones probably can't win now as they come to the final four but it's Miss Dior who's still in the lead Miss Dior from you next much then comes Emma and I Street Hollywood rolling Lowell Art Nat Geo Girl the Chingford Scouser is now dropping away, but it's you next much who takes it up into the final half furlong. Here comes Emma Nice Street on the inside and finishing fast is Nat Geo Girl who deserves a win and Nat Geo Girl wins it. Emma Nice Street is second in Electric Sheep and Red Dickens and then Midnight Train and Girl V. And it's a win for the ultra consistent Nat Geo Girl for Anna Nias. How many winners is that now? Three or four? Let me get it into it now. Emma Nice Street for Alex Cherry was second. Electric Sheep for Kevin Minahan third. Then Fourth, I think it was you next much if the card goes back up. I will tell you what it is if it doesn't. I probably won't be able to. Oh, here we go then. <laughs> it's you next much for James Follis was fourth. And Dan Hughes came in a fifth with Red Dickens. So that's the result of the Dunstall Park handicap.